Hello YouTube and welcome to another Vacuum Mad 8 video and today we've got something that Cole's been waiting about two years from Dyson actually to um, bring out um, in this country. Now this item was originally introduced in the Far East um, around two years ago actually. So we're just going to open this one up. As you know Dyson have released um, a new vacuum. Well I think this year we've had the V11 ounce size and we've had the um, V15 Detect. Um, the V15 Detect actually come with a couple of new attachments and tools and things like this. But there is something that's missing from it. And this is one item that Cole's um, been wanting as well. This These items um, is, is a tool. Um, it cost £35. Um, I think they were giving them away at the time of the video. Um, with the V11 outside just because... Um, just to try and get people on the outside of the detect. So uh, we'll get this one open now and have a look, see what we've got in the box. So inside the box, it's quite weighty. We have a purple crevice tool. This is a very famous purple Dyson crevice tool. But as you can, well, we'll just get the original crevice tool out and we'll just have a little look at the difference between so it. So as you can see, look, this crevice tool actually is slightly longer now. A long, uh, quite a while I've been saying to Dyson and we on all the videos that the crevice tool on the cordless machines is short. If you look at the one on the upright, they've got a lovely long crevice tool. So this one actually is a little bit longer. It is actually um, as well. It has got a bigger opening on it. Um, it also does have the air holes because these air holes are very important because the machine shuts off. So there is a bit of a trick with this one because this is actually called, that's called a crevice tool. And this one is called a QR light pipe crevice. Now, a light pipe. Now, why, why would it be called a light pipe? Should we show them why? So this one originally come out um, about two years ago on the Japan, the Japanese, well, Japanese or Far East V8 Slim. Um, this also as well on the V8 Slim, they also introduced the um, fluff, oh. the slim fluffy head, which is um, being um, updated on the uh, V8. 15 detect because what what i found with the with the with the actual um the actual fluffy that it didn't go under much furniture and in and in in the far east they basically had the same problem and they just updated it so this this new head that you get on the detect is new but it's not new because it was been knocking around in the far east for a long time so this is the other thing that's been knocking around in the Far East for a little while. So what we'll do now, we'll just do a compatibility test to show you which machines they fit. So we'll get um, a few of these out. We have a V8, a V10, and a V11. Now this one should fit all three. Now, if we put it on the V8 first, and we turn it on, that's why it's called a light pipe. So basically, now putting lights on vacuums is nothing new because I think like Hoover did it in like the 1930s. Um, sharks do it. Mealers have done it. So that's so it fits the V8. So if you're so it does fit a V8 if you still got one and a V7 as well because the V7 and V8 attachments is the same. V10. So it fits a V10 if you've got one of them. And it also, well, you know, it, it obviously, this will fit the outsize and also will fit V15 Detect. So there we have it. The Calvary distance on the Audi Dysons. That's Calvary distance. Right. So, why do you want a, 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 a crevice tool that lights up? Well, for instance, most people, 
Well, one reason is if you've got, say, a reclining sofa, um, you can't really clean underneath them. But once you recline them out, you need something. And I mean, we're just going to demonstrate now yeah. why a good place for having. So there are there are deal for getting in your nooks and crannies. You can actually see the dirt. So like Dyson have just really um, put a laser light onto a a, a a fluffy head so you can see the dust. So this was like the forerunner to this. Put fluffy head for in. Let's see if it's a new clip. Oh yeah, we'll do, do the clip. Does it fit on the clip? No. So it does not fit on the tool clip that you get with that. It, fits it might fit on the new one, but I think the new one's closer, isn't it? Yeah. So, so it doesn't fit on the clip. That's, that's, um, that is, but mind you, when this was introduced, back when the V8 was out, they never had a tool clip. Dock. It fits on the dock. Yeah, fit on the dock, but not on the tool clip. Not on the V, not on the, uh, the uh, 10 one, or sorry, the V10 standoff. It, it doesn't fit on the dock. The, the V10 standoff. It fits on there. No, it doesn't, but it, it fits on the V11. Right, so it doesn't fit on the V10 dock, but it was, it'll fit on the standard wall dock, and it'll also fit on the V11 um, floor standing dock, doesn't it? And the wall dock. Yeah. So what we'll do now, we'll get this one, we'll have a little clean underneath the, uh, the recliner. Um, so this crevice tool was actually made to actually um, help you see in the dark in the nooks and crannies. Now if we just test this one out quickly, you can see it lighting up. And you can actually get in here and get most of the dirt out. Um, plus as well, if you want to get underneath your chair, look. It pretty much, you can see where it's going. See, look, it's like a little torch on the end. Of so if you wanted to get a torch, you just grab your V11 and just sort of like stick stick that on the end of it. So it's called a Dyson light pipe. It's quite a fantastic, it's a nice little, uh, I mean, for years, I mean, sharks had, um, Dyson's never had lights on their vacuums, but it just noticed now that, you know, we've got this one and then you've also got the fluffy with it on. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice little tool. Um, like say, like you say, it's basically got a, it's got a powered light in it. It's got two tubes going down. Nice bright LED. Um, it's got a slightly bigger thing, a bigger hole for it. Um, so it is a nice little uh, attachment. It doesn't really fit on the actual um, floor docks very well, but if you've got a wall mount one, it'll go on quite easily. It doesn't fit on the tube. It don't fit on the V8 floor dock, but it fits in the V11 one fine. Yeah, the V10 one, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it's a nice little, nice little upgrade. Um, you can actually buy the, um, what's it called? The screw tool, if you really want a screw tool, because you've got pets and you don't want to spend X amount of money on a new vacuum, you can buy that. That one will be available from Dyson for about 35 quid. And when are you going to get the screw tool? I don't know, mate. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll probably get one with, with a vacuum, I should imagine, no one you. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. Nice little, nice little addition to Carl's um, vacuums. Like you say, he's got three vacuums here that he can actually use it on, you know, and if he, he ever updates again, um, it'll fit the new one as well. So, uh, you know, it's nice to add this one. Yeah. So please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8, and uh, thanks for watching, and see you again. Bye.